Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Ads. I'm Joey. And I'm Tim. All right, so uh, remember, first, well, first, let's do a shout out to our financial supporters. So, yes. did you know that we have Patreon where people can support us every month to help to put the show together, right? If you're interested in, in supporting us, if you're like, hey, I want to be part of this, what can I do to help? How can I be part of this? You can become a financial supporter. Patreon's one way to do that. Uh, there's also PayPal. You can just send us a one-time donation or something, and you know some people do that because they don't want money taken out of their account every six months, or they don't want to give that away information away. That's fine too. But did you know another way people have been supporting us lately? Well, I think you told me the other day that someone did a thank you. Yeah, so you can comment. hit thank you right under where the comments are, and in the comment you can leave like ten dollars or something, or twenty dollars. Someone left fifty bucks. Like that. That's uh, you can do that also if you do that right. Email me at plantbasedads at gmail.com and say, hey, I just left a, a, a comment uh, with, a, with a, a thank you thing, and I'll add you to the early access list because the financial supporters get these videos two days ahead of time, That's right? That's a good point. Yeah. And if you're doing that, I love, thank you for doing that, but I'd like to get you, if you want it, I'd like to get you the video early too. It's right now, it's all I can offer because I don't have anything else, right? Uh, so that's one way to support us also, but we, we really appreciate all of you, every one of you that has helped us uh, financially with the show because without them, like, I'm a teacher. The show just doesn't happen, right? It's also right? It's totally so, encouraging when you see that too. Oh, I love that. I love, the work you I, love, I love the comments. I love it all. Yeah, I feel uh, like it's been a while since I've been on the show. Uh, one thing I've learned last week is I'm not safe around a razor or a hair trimmer. Okay. So, which, but it's perfect. It's like 109 degrees. Like, it's. I know, but I don't know. Crazy. Even with my haircut, I don't know that I would trim my own hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of gutsy. It starts with a little trimmer on the ears and right. just goes from there. But yeah, anyway. and you're like, well, this side's not even. I mean, do this yeah. side, this side. Next thing you know, you've like cut all your hair yeah. off, right? Uh, that's what happened to me. Uh, all right, so uh, a lot of things happening in the show coming up here in the next probably month, right? Uh, so that I don't want to talk about right now, but just so you know, there's a lot coming. What, today's recipe is really cool because. Uh, you know, Lex was born in 2006, in October. I just, by the way, I just went to a cybersecurity uh, uh, conference that says that just telling you that is probably too much information. But it was 2006, October, Lex was born, and not related to this, but I decided to become a vegetarian. So I stopped eating meat altogether, and that's, I never went back. Before that, we used to go to Chili's for the Southwest Egg Rolls, right? 19, 20 years uh, ago. Well, Lex is 17, so yeah, uh, that long ago. Yeah. Uh, almost 18. So we used to go to Chili's for the Southwest Egg Rolls, and I love those things. And I have not had them since, right? We haven't. Um, we've kind of dabbled in trying to replicate them here and there, but we never really put an effort into. And over the last few months, we've kind of been like, I, we saw those egg rolls somewhere. We were like, I miss the egg rolls. So, yeah, I think it was like, I saw, we made soup last week, and I was like, Oh, this is such a mistake this time of the year, but really it's great to have in the fridge. And then I was like, what can we make that summer food, finger food type yeah. thing, bring to a party, um, and then it has our macros, right? Enough yeah. protein in it. Well, where we're not having a shake with a yeah, know, that's, egg roll. That's the other thing. So everything that we do has to fit into really good macros, yeah. right? Yeah. Around 400 calories and between like 35 and 40 grams of protein, yeah. right? So I gave Joey the assignment, yeah. and he came up with um, using setine as our protein for the yeah, meat. yeah. So interesting enough because the chicken and the setine are, are so closely related in how much protein you get per gram. Okay. Uh, it's a really good matchup for sure. So today's recipe, our high protein Southwest egg rolls. It is a chili knockoff, but I haven't had them in almost 20 years. So at this point, I don't even remember what they taste like. And these are amazing. So they have uh, a lot of protein in it. I think they are 41 grams of protein for a serving of four, right? But the, the macros and all that you're gonna see coming up is without the dipping sauce. Yeah, we, so it's kind of filling. Yeah, we threw in your secret cilantro sauce, yeah. right? That that we both love. Uh, and it makes a great compliment to that. But you can also do like a chipotle mayo or something like that. Yeah. This dressing is great to get to know. Uh, you can put it in a bottle to drizzle over tacos or it makes a great salad dressing. It's a great cold summer dressing, is, right? Dipping is. sauce. All right, so we're gonna show you how we did this. We absolutely love this recipe. It's so good. And if you're a vegan and doing high protein and you used to eat those chili these uh, egg rolls, you're absolutely gonna love this. Let's get to the food. Our vegan high protein Southwest egg rolls come in at 454 calories, 41 grams of protein, and two grams of fat. 
With those beautiful macros, this meal is always the answer. Let's get started. One dressing option we're showing is a creamy cilantro dressing. I'm beginning here with a starch solution mayo. So that's in the same container. So not a lot of dirty dishes here. So I have one cup of that starch solution mayo that I'm beginning with. But if you have a different mayonnaise that you like, feel free to use that. This is gonna have that higher protein count though. To this dressing, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of plant milk. Today I'm using cashew milk. Next I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime juice. It's the equivalent of probably one lime, right? So, you know, put it, use it in this little press here. There's one. Two, perfect. To give it a little zing, we've got two cloves of garlic. Just put that right in there. Next we want about a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. We got this in Minnesota when we were back there. It's uh, from Byerly's, so give it a few turns. Perfect. Same goes for black pepper. I just happen to have some rainbow pepper coins from Trader Joe's. So I'll twist that in there to give for flavor. All right, our next ingredient is a scallion. I'm just gonna roughly chop this just to help out the blender a little bit. That'll give it a little bit more dynamic flavor depth. All right, next we want to have about a handful of chopped cilantro. So I'm just gonna roughly chop this. There's my handful. Squeeze that in there, that's perfect. Next I want to add three tomatillos just to help out the uh, blender here. I'm gonna chop this up a little bit. Now, when I peeled the coating on this off, I wash these under warm water just to get rid of stickiness or any residue. All right, to add some thickness to the sauce, I'm gonna add five or six cashews. Um, if you have a, if your blender isn't that well, maybe you wanna soak these in warm water for a couple hours or for 10 minutes, something like that. But anyway, this blender will be able to handle this. So I'm gonna be right back after we give this a good blend. Okay, we've blended this up for three little cycles. Looks, look at that color, it looks awesome. Okay, so it's a little runny, but we're gonna put this in the refrigerator while we make the South Coast egg rolls. This will go perfect, let me give this a taste, see if it needs any more salt or pepper. Yeah, this is great. All right, so Tim's got a uh, yellow onion here. We're using our Dahlstrong Shogun Series kitchen knife. It's an absolutely beautiful knife. And there's a link below where you can get your Dahlstrong knives. So we're gonna use half an onion in this recipe. You can use more, but we've counted out the calories uh, so we know what they are exactly. But if you're not really worried about the calories, then use the whole onion. Nothing will I hate more than using half of something. What are you supposed to do with the other half? I mean, hello. And Tim's just gonna dice these up into a small dice. Remember, they're going into egg rolls, so uh, they just wanna be a uh, little, little small dice. And we're cooking this down, aren't we, too? Yeah, we are cooking it down. All right, so one half an onion, ready to go. Next, we got half a bell pepper. Again, same thing, like they're not worried about calories. Just use the whole thing. But I'm gonna make this and show you the exact number of calories we're getting out of it. So you can do the same thing if you're counting calories. And if you're not counting calories, then use the whole pepper. Same thing, Tim's just uh, dicing it up into a small dice. All right, and half a bell pepper, diced and ready to go. All right, so next we got a jalapeno pepper here. Tim's just cutting it the long way, and then he's gonna take the veins and the seed out. So we're de-seeding it and de-veining it, I guess, right? Yeah. You can leave the seeds in if you want. If you really like it spicy, I don't. If you want the extra heat? No. No, okay. If you want the extra heat, you do it. All right, one jalapeno, diced and veined and seeded, ready to go. Okay, I rinsed away some of that heat. Let's cut up our parsley. All right, so Tim's cutting all this parsley up. We don't need all this. We just need like a tablespoon of it. So, but we, we're gonna use it for other stuff too. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of dice this up a little bit. All right, so here we have 285 grams of seitan. We're using this Franklin Farms chicken style seitan. Seitan is really just wheat, but it's pure protein. Uh, and it's just, it's just like tofu. It's in the water and you drain the water out and then you can just, it comes in this like pre pulled apart stuff. We're gonna slice it up so you know it's it, it's small enough to go. We're not gonna dice it, but we're gonna cut it into like chicken like strip type of stuff. So that's what we're gonna do here just to get it ready to go into the egg rolls. And really, you can use quite a different you know variety of different fillings, vegan fillings for these egg rolls. 
the macros we're giving you are based on the seitan and seitan and tempeh are the highest uh, vegan options for you know grams of protein per calorie. Uh, after that, then you wind up looking at uh, uh, tofu and, and that sort of thing. But seitan and te tempeh are the two highest. You can absolutely make seitan yourself. People are gonna leave comments going, oh, it's so easy to make your own. Uh, it looks like a lot of work. I've watched a few videos and here I'm just opening a package. But at some point, we probably will start making our own because we really like the, the texture of seitan uh, and no one in this house is, has an issue with gluten. So it just works out for us. If you're uh, having any issues with gluten or you have celiac disease, then this is not the recipe for you. All right, there you have it. Uh, 285 grams or about, okay, it's 285 grams, but it should be about half a package. But if you drain the water out, it's like one and a half packages. So we use one and a half packages of the Franklin Farms uh, seitan. Uh, chopped up and ready to go. Let's start cooking. We're gonna get started with the cooking. We're gonna use our Dahlstrong Avalon Series 10 inch uh, copper core skillet. Thank you Dahlstrong for providing us with all our cookware and our knives. There's a link below this video where you can get your own Dahlstrong cookware products. All right, we've got our induction cooktop here. We're gonna turn it on to medium heat. This induction cooktop heats up very fast. I did do the light coat of uh, nonstick spray here, but you don't have to do that. You can just use water if you want. And we'll start off by browning up the seitan first. There is a lot of liquid in this seitan, so you really don't need to uh, hit the bottom of the pan with a, a spray oil or anything. You really just throw this in here and let it start sauteing. I'm just going to move this around. I just want to, I mean, it's already cooked in the package. I just kind of want it to get hot and heated all the way through and maybe brown a little bit. I don't know if that's going to happen, but. I definitely want it to get heated up so it's kind of ready to eat. All right, we cook it for a few minutes, so we're gonna toss in the onions and the jalapenos and the peppers. Let's get that all sauteed. I really do like using a wood spoon. You can really scrape the bottom if it does stick. And we're just gonna cook this for about five minutes until the onions start softening up and the veggies start you know, getting a little tender and sauteed. Now that everything's soft, we're gonna throw in a half a cup of black beans and about an ounce of frozen corn. Tim's gonna stir that up. And then we've also got some spice going in. And this is just the taco spice, my homemade taco spice. The recipe will be in the description below this video. So we're just putting in one tablespoon of homemade taco spice or taco seasoning. And now we just wanna get this heated up so it's hot all the way through. This smells amazing right now. The last thing we're going to do is add in about a tablespoon of chopped parsley. And at this point, we'll just mix this all up and then we can shut the heat off. It looks delicious. All right, so I think we're ready to start rolling up our uh, egg rolls, right? Yeah. Let's get to it. All right, Tim's just wetting the edges of the egg roll wrapper just so to get it to stick to itself when we roll it up. And we're using these Nasoya vegan plant-based uh, egg roll wrappers. We just got these at Whole Foods. And then we want to put about an eighth of the mixture onto the wrapper. The mixture makes two sets of four egg rolls. So it makes eight complete egg rolls. So you just want to divide it up by eight and put an eighth inside. So let's hope for the best here. Now you don't want to make them too thin. So you want to roll it up once, grab the end, just bring it in on both sides. And then right about there, you just want to continue to roll it forward until you've got your nice egg roll shape. And at the very end, you'll push down the edge and that'll, the, the water will make it stick to itself, just like that. And there you go, that one looks perfect. We're just gonna make the rest of them and then we'll tell you what to do as far as cooking them. All right, so we've got eight of our egg rolls here. They're on an air fryer sheet and I am gonna coat them. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna coat them with a little bit of uh, spray avocado oil and that's it and I'm gonna pop these into the oven 400 degrees in the air fryer I'm gonna cook them for six minutes turn them over six more minutes and then they'll be done all right so Tim's just cutting one here and let's see what they look like inside holy smoke look how good that looks right this is gonna be amazing with the uh, cilantro sauce in here all right so we're gonna start cutting these up and plating them up right sounds good yep all right guys, so we're just gonna plate this up here. Remember that uh, each one of these uh, is a serving of four. So this recipe makes two full servings, four 
uh, four egg rolls each. And we did cut them in half, you don't have to, we just thought it would look cool if they were you know, just cut in the diagonal the way Chili's does them. But of course that is up to you. And we are serving them with our, uh, what I like to call Tim's secret cilantro sauce, but it's our creamy cilantro dressing. It's a nice thick dressing, dipping sauce that goes very well with these. And there you have it, our beautiful high protein Southwest egg rolls. Pairing them with this uh, creamy cilantro sauce, it is just an absolute perfect match. And at 40 grams of protein for about 450 calories, this is always a winner. All right, I'm hungry. Let's eat. You can see here the filling just like fills these whole things up. They're ready to bust. You see the corn in there and the black beans. And if you look over here, uh, there's our secret cilantro sauce or our creamy cilantro dressing or dip. So we're going to have some of these. Uh, we've already eaten a bunch of them. You can either dip them. I like a spoon to put it on, right? Yeah. Let me show you the consistency because when we did the dressing, it was before I put it in the refrigerator. Um, and you can see this is spoonable. Oh, yeah. It's much thicker. It's much thicker. Yeah. But, but I just thought we'd go over some pro tips. What, um, what would you do if, if it wasn't thick enough or you wanted it thicker? Eat it anyway. You, you, can, you can add some more cashews or soaked cashews. Um, you can add a half of an avocado. Um, that'll lessen the taste if you think you put too much cilantro in. So again, you can fix this dressing if it's too much of one thing or something. We've seen my mom in action where she's repaired soups that yeah, were too yeah. soup where that broke or They're whatever. all so, skilled at the, in the Midwest on how to fix it. Right. 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 But so I just want to say this is pretty fail proof okay. or you can fix things. Well, let's 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 have some of these here. You could dip them, but the stuff's going to fall into it. So you want some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, smoke. That cilantro sauce is everything. Mm. Right? Yeah. It's so good. It's very cilantro. So if you don't absolutely love cilantro, mm. maybe. Some people don't. Yeah. Um, I got a friend, Lisa Tansy, <laughs> that does not like cilantro. Okay. Right? So I don't even know how we're friends. Like, you know, how can you not like cilantro? Right? <laughs> You know, instead of cilantro, you could put mint if you wanted that flavor. But I can't stand mint. But a barbecue sauce or chipotle ranch, like so if you took vegan ranch dressing and maybe threw an avocado in there or a little bit of barbecue sauce. You could do that. You could have this flavorful thing yeah. that would go perfect with these as well. Yeah. But we wanted to show you this version. It's kind of fun that you can make this dressing and use it for salad or some other dipping. Um, so It's really you, good on tacos. And the taco seasoning mix we use... That's mine, my recipe. There'll be a recipe for that below the video. I'm gonna have some water and we'll talk about the macros. Sounds good. Right on with this. So Joey, we have some viewers who may not want vital wheat gluten yeah. from the setting. Yeah. Can they replace us with the tempeh? Well like what is what is the concern? Like if they do, do tempeh, they just need to increase it more? Yeah, they can increase they don't have to use seitan. They could use we use say the reason we use seitan, do you know why? No. Because it's it's the highest in protein per calorie, right? Mm. There's not. I think maybe tempeh is a little bit higher, but you can use uh, you can use like chickpea tofu or something like that, right? It doesn't have to be a wheat-based thing. Now I don't know what the what the egg rolls are made of. Probably wheat, right? Uh, but, yeah. But plugging this in chronometer will tell you exactly if you yeah. start changing ingredients, um, what is the protein, and if you're worried about that. If not, this is a delicious summer idea. All right, so let's go over the, uh, the macros here, right? So the, in chronometer, if you're, if you're French with me, this is called uh, Joey Troxel Vegan Southwest Egg Roll Chili Copycat. And uh, on that, it goes into all of, you can see here on the screen, I'll put this on the screen. You can see on the screen all of the ingredients I've used. Everything's listed exactly. And this recipe makes two servings. So this is everything for two servings. If you want to only make one serving, Make half of it. Use four egg wrappers instead of eight, right? Or double. Or well, you can double. To, yeah, if you want to double. Tim's always like, go big or go home. <laughs> you can make a smaller version of this. This is just for us. I made two, vers two servings, right? So this makes two servings, and each serving comes out to 454 calories. This is without the cilantro sauce. This is just the egg rolls, all right? Uh, that cilantro sauce is made with cashews and uh, tofu, so it does have you know, some calories in it. And more protein. Uh, and more protein too. But 454.8 calories, so let's say 455 yeah. calories, right? And with that, 
The total fat grams for this whole thing without, of course, without the dressing is two, right? Okay. That's really good. It's pretty right? safe. Uh, if we look at the uh, protein, we've got 40.9, so 41 grams of protein. So 41 grams of protein for 455 calories, like for a dinner, those are great macros, don't you think? They are, and sometimes I don't always get beans or corn in, no, so I this is a treat. In there. Yeah, all my favorite foods are in there. Corn, beans, veggies, Corn right? Pepper. Yeah, yeah, peppers, onions. All right, that's our video for today, all right? Uh, hit that like button, show us some love, click on the subscribe button, click on the bell, you get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Tuesday. Leave a comment below. What do you think of these uh, Chili's knockoff uh, vegan high protein version, Southwest egg rolls? We have a lot of stuff coming up. I think on one of the next few videos, we are gonna talk about supplementation. People keep asking us about supplements and uh, it's probably a good time to start talking about that. So I'll show you how we use supplements to fill in the missing parts based on what we're eating, right? Yeah. I I've been a little crazy with that, so didn't want to share it. But now I think we're in a, a good place after we're being place in it. chronometer. Yeah. Uh, what are we consistently lacking or not? Yeah. So. I don't really want to tie that to the end of a video, so I kind of want to talk about that. Oh, maybe we will do that. All right. I'll All right. see you next time. Take Bye. care.